Look at this rotten pumpkin. It's as if I'm trying to show that fall is dying and winter is coming. Ah yes, the squirrel. One of nature's fiercest warriors and hardened protectors. Armed with stealth, climbing abilities, speed, and nuts in their mouth. As well as tiny hands. It's a true question to ponder of why these overpowered rodents haven't already taken over the world. Insert some artistic clip of scenery. Yeah, you like that artistic scenery, don't you? <laughs> Uh, some foolish beings look at these cute little godsends as rodents. Poopy buttholes with no direction. Can you believe that? It's as if they've forgotten that one time humanity was saved by the noble squirrel. What generous creatures they are, protecting their domain. The trees, the creeks, leaves, and the forest. Wow, look at those trees. So perfect. Look at that sun. It's creating a lens flare, or multiple lens flares. Kinda crazy. World domination could be theirs if they really wanted it, or so chose to grasp for it. But instead, <sighs> They grab their nuts and stick them in their mouth. Look at that beautiful sun cascading over the wonderful grass. One would think an almighty creature, this little magnificent gift from the heavens, would be an apex predator, a lion of sorts, feasting upon the flesh of their enemies. But no, on the flip side, they are actually the hunted. They're hunted by the ungodly creature known as the hawk, as well as humans on occasion. While the squirrels are very athletic, agile, stronger than 50 ants combined, and wonderful hunters when it comes to shoving nuts in their mouth, they are no match for the fearsome hawk. For the hawk, well, the hawk takes supplements and works out regularly. Hawks are chads and hawks kinda suck. Look at the redness, the beautiful hues fall practically resonates from this tree. If you see one of these humble brethren hopping around, feel free to lend a piece of bread or a lonely nut to their cause. Look at this tree. Look how far it goes up. That is a tall, tall tree. That's a crazy tree, man. Squirrels aren't loud creatures. The only time many will ever hear them at all is when they're eating. These lavish living fur balls are typically heard from the trees or are close to eye level, perched atop large boulders eating their locally sourced bounties. A glint of happiness can be seen in their eye as they eat, for they know that a hard day of scavenging and working overtime gathering food was all worth it. For the sweet taste of the nut they have in their mouth the nut they salivate over and nibble on with delight is the Mount Everest equivalent of delight. A crack addict's boulder of crack rock, an Asheville student's vegan, fair trade, non-GMO, gluten-free, fat-free, animal cruelty-free piece of food or expensive good. The acorn, the walnut, the pine nut, these nuts are the finest possession these squirrels own. For the squirrel, the nut is life. The nut is happiness, and the nut is gospel. The nut is in their mouth. These forest sentinels of honor live mundane lives, hiding from predators, tending to their tiny squirrel families, nurturing their little rat babies. Sometimes, the squirrels like to run alongside of the beautiful, rippling waters. These waters are found at the Botans, the Botanical Gardens. Look at how beautiful the water is, how it ripples, how it crackles. Yes, water.
insert pictures of leaves. Quite crispy, I would say. Mmm, might take a bite. Nyang, 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 nyang. Look at this winding path. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Look at these beautiful leaves. I hope you've all enjoyed looking at squirrels, looking at nature, and looking at this time capsule of fall itself. Please, enjoy your day. And come back again. Thank you. Oh, what a cute little squirrel.